Well, how do you do, backers? It is Friday afternoon as I do this video. Just home after a long week of work. I thought I'd, uh, well, it's not necessarily that I was in the mood for a cocktail, but I decided I'd have one because I had some glassware I want to show you. <laughs> My wife had found this this set. It came with four of these glasses. Those of you that have seen me before know that my pheasant fixation. It's not necessarily mine. It was my parents. But now that I, you know, when my wife finds things at a, a thrift store, in this case at a DAV, I, it came with four glasses and this pitcher. And I think it was about $2, maybe two fifty, something like that. If I'm crazy. It's a very nice set. So you've seen the, the pheasant tankard that I use sometimes. Anyways, I decided to make, since I had the ingredients handy and I had some had some Boru vodka that I've had for, gosh, since March. <laughs> I've had for one thing. I, I go ahead and use that here. Uh, I got some needles stuck to the bottom here. Um, so, I, so I, anyways, I had this Boru vodka, which I put four ounces in the pitcher. I took this uh, dry vermouth. I used half an ounce. And I have the Mazetta olives. I've got two olives in here. And one ounce of olive juice using well my handy uh, <laughs> my handy shot jigger glasses one ounce here half ounce there let you pour a perfect jigger and there you go now I've got it served straight up which means chilled but no ice in the glass using this rather than a martini glass because well i had the glass <laughs> i do have a martini glass but i like these glasses i just love them i love the size of them uh they're just nice i can't believe she got them for the price she did with the picture and everything uh <laughs> if it was the dead of summer i'd probably make some of whiskey sours uh gets a little colder i'll probably do a picture of manhattans uh, but i didn't have all the ingredients i want for my perfect manhattan but i did have the ingredients for a nice dirty vodka martini so I figured, what the heck, and quite frankly, this video is more about uh, showing you the glassware than the dirty martini itself. But I wanted to show off the glassware, but oh, tell me those aren't beautiful. The other ones I have actually just have uh, the one pheasant on them. This has the two, the male and the female. I've got one set that has... Um, their uh, stem pilsners have black and white uh, uh, different game birds. And it's got a pitcher with just a pheasant and then four, well, I did have four, one broke, uh, three glasses that have different game birds on them. But I just love this set because these are similar. This this particular pheasant here is similar to uh, the pheasants that uh, my, my parents used to have around their, their house. My mom used to do a lot of crafts. She'd make pillows and stuff and, and uh, afghans, and this is the kind of pheasant that she would she would make for their house. So, or, or and then they would collect various artwork as well. Dad, growing up in in uh, in South Dakota, was a fan of the pheasant, and not necessarily that I am. I guess sort of by proxy, I only collect them because I know that's something he did. But uh, again, for me, it's it's about glassware. So when I can find a glassware. Uh, any glassware I'm, I'm a fan of, but when she finds something that connects to my childhood, well, even better. I, I do like some nostalgia. I do. <laughs> this is a nice drink because um, I, I know what the I know what <laughs> you almost cut that because I know what I'm doing. I've never been a professional bartender, actually, but I've always enjoyed, uh, you know. Doing some amateur bartending, as it were. Uh, I do. I just like, I love pouring drinks. Uh, I, I love making cocktails. Certain cocktails, I, I'm not a fan of, of 100 ingredient cocktails. You know what I mean? I'm not a fan of cocktails that taste like fruit punch, but I like a good dirty martini, uh, in this case, a vodka martini, uh, which I'm a bigger fan of than gin, to be honest with you. I've also made these using uh, moonshines or an age or white whiskeys. I, I do love making a Manhattan. Uh, so I guess I'm a fan of making classic cocktails. I'm not a fan of fruit fruit cocktails, 100 ingredient cocktails. I, I just don't like the trends of you got to put 100 ingredients and stuff. You know, uh, the the best the best food and the best cocktails are the, are the ones you keep simple. Dirty vodka martini in this case. Sometimes I don't even use a dry vermouth. Actually, to be honest with you, but I had some handy. I figured what the heck. And I use just a little bit. Again, four ounces. And this particular drink was four ounces of vodka. One ounce of the olive juice, a half ounce of, of the 
we're moving a couple of hours. You know, you can, you know, this stuff isn't written in stone, folks. You can make them any way you want to. If you need to add more, uh, well, just go ahead. Or you need to add more vermouth, or you want to forget the dirty altogether, or just do the vermouth, that's fine, or just the vodka. It makes me know never want I just wanted an excuse to use this. Oh, get something on there, didn't really that. I just wanted an excuse to use this picture and show you this picture in the glassware. You got a came with these four glasses. I just love them though. Aren't those awesome? I mean, they're perfect for, for rocks, but they're awesome for when you drink things straight up. I know I'm, I'm looking forward to when I do make a Manhattan. I need to get the ingredients uh, probably next weekend uh, after I get paid because I'm rather broke this week. <laughs> after I get paid uh, to get the ingredients I need to make, make a Manhattan, it really is my favorite cocktail. But for me, they're most enjoyable in the fall. Uh, fall and winter is when I really like a Manhattan. As it gets to the summer, uh, if I'm thinking a summer cocktail, uh, you know, a dirty martini, I think I'll do about any time. Um, but but I really love a whiskey sour. Again, the, the things I love to make are the, are, are simple. Uh, it's, it's the simple cocktails. I don't dig. I, I want to be able to taste the alcohol in every cocktail I make. I'm not crazy about the cocktails that taste like fruit punch. I'm not crazy about trendy cocktails. Uh, I just don't dig it. I'm not a trendy guy. Uh, on any level. I never was, actually. I've never tried to fit in <laughs> in any group. I've had folks, I just remember being, you know, in my teens and then early 20s. Well, where do you, you know, I, I don't fit in any of those groups. I mean, I was uh, I was into the big rock scene in, in the 80s in Southern California. Uh, I, I listened to a lot of classic rock at the time. I have certainly followed a, a lot of hair bands, but I never really fit into that group either because uh, I listened to a lot of other things, you know. I remember, I think it was, what, I don't know, 79 maybe. I bought the Armed Forces, uh, Elvis Costello, uh, <laughs> Armed Forces album, and all my friends said I lost my ever loving mind. No, I didn't change. I mean, I still like the other stuff, but there was something about that album that appealed to me. You know, Goon Squad, Senior Service, Oliver's Army. It, it's a great album from the first song to the last. Everything works. I just, I've, oh, you know, I've never really fit into one group, you know, and I was big into, like I said, the big into that hair band scene. Left California in 87 at 22 years old, um, and I'm now 51, and, you know, I have no piercings, no tattoos. Although I will say, uh, right about 40, I did have one piercing. My daughter, I was kind of going, I always joked that I was going to get my ear pierced after I turned 40, so she wanted to have it done for me. So, yeah, I did, and I kept it pierced for about two years, and it came out, because it's really not me. <laughs> but, but what the heck? But that was the point, kind of, you know, it was I almost... Uh, Ward ironically, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I didn't fit in with that. I, you know, I don't have anything against piercings or tattoos. Don't get me wrong. I don't have any issues with anybody that has piercings or tattoos, but I've never needed anything like that to fit in. I've never dressed a certain way to fit in. I've always kind of, you know, combined certain things. <laughs> Had this hairstyle back in the 80s, you know, as uh, my hair was long and about down to here. Remember, it was the 80s, right? <laughs> so I had the big hair thing. And it wasn't, well, I guess it would be technically a mullet, but it went over, actually went over my ears, but it was longer. But it wasn't it wasn't cut over the ears, but it was longer in the back. It was here, went over the ears. And I kind of go back to this part to one side over this way, and I had it longer. Well, then, uh, you know, I guess it was probably about a year after I had that style, uh, the uh, uh, Daryl Hall Dreamtime video came out. And that's some... Um, had that hairstyle. So I had to, I had to change my hairstyle because he didn't even give me credit for it. I had to, so if you ever want to know what I look like about 1980, I don't know, whatever year that came out, either 84, 85, who can remember now? Yeah, watch Dream Time. That's what my hair looked like back then. Oh, I was a skinny guy. Oh, time's changed. So sometimes I get asked uh, why I meander when I do videos. Why do I? Why do I talk about a hundred subjects? Because I like to imagine that we're in a pub or in a bar, tavern, saloon, uh, illegal speakeasy, <laughs> underground fight, you know, having a conversation with each other, and, and that's that's how things are done. You don't, you know, you, you your conversations all over the place. That's not necessarily about one topic. Uh, so there you go. 
that's why my mind, well, actually, the truth is my mind meanders, so that's the excuse, is that this is, it's bar talk. <laughs> Spent a lot of time in bars as a kid. A large portion of my youth was spent in American Legion halls. Uh, I shit you not. <laughs> you could bring kids into bars back in those days, folks, or you could in California. Anyways. <laughs> Mm. Nice. So there you go. I'm almost done here. I wanted to kind of meander, <laughs> uh, drone on, whatever you wish to call it. Hey, uh, you know, it's funny. I've been doing this for several years now. I don't know. Five, I guess five years, maybe longer. Who knows? Well, actually, I, I, I guess YouTube officially five years. I was doing videos directly to Facebook before I started doing them to YouTube for probably about a year before that. I think it was about 2009 when I was tagged with the name Beer Whisper, and I can't remember exactly who gave me that name now. It came up in a beer group conversation. I can't remember if it was um, Stuart Picard from the Ginger Real Ale Trail or somebody else, but it was uh, somebody I knew <laughs> from the beer groups at that time. I mentioned Beer Whisper, so I, I just sort of adopted the persona. Uh, but, you know, it's not necessarily an alter ego or a persona. It, it, it's mostly me. Uh, sometimes when I do the videos, uh, the Beer Whisper is an exaggerated or slightly exaggerated version of myself. I guess I shouldn't say shouldn't say exaggerated because I'm just me, man. But <laughs> but when I go into Beer Whisper, I tend to go, oh, man. So um, the cocktail portion is over. Now I'm down to the salad portion. <laughs> Anyways, hey, I'm trying to be whisper. I hope you like my glassware. I love this stuff. I am just a glassware junkie. I swear to goodness. And we have a relatively small house with not a lot of cabinet space. And I've got glasses just overflowing. In fact, I have to keep so many dirty at a time because I don't have room for every clean glass. <laughs> I tend to, there, there are some that I have seasonally, like I, I, I kind of rotate in and out, I use some for a while, and so I get some new, so I put some others up, so anyways, hey, I am down a Beer Whisper. I am running for Beer Whisper and Chief, and I have a glare on my computer screen, so I couldn't see where the stop button was, I am down a Beer Whisper. I'm running for Beer Whisper and Chief, and I approve this message. <laughs>